Hey guys, it's Kendrick from Providence Tarot coming to you with your weeklies a little bit late, but I, you know, am busy and so are you. So here we go. We're about to do the weeklies for the second week of September 2019. So what we got, all of us, was, you know, uh, the Wheel of Fortune came up. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Badass Bitches Tarot by Cardi B. There you go, follow her, at Cardi B. Sorry about that box. Um, and the card that came up for everyone is the Lovers, which is Mercury, right? And where is Mercury right now? I believe it's in Virgo, okay, in the sign that it belongs in. So we're thinking about processes, we're thinking about our understanding for how we connect with other people and what that means for us. You know, each connection is a little bit different, right? The Wheel of Fortune came up as well, which is uh, Jupiter, right? That's the sign that opposes Gemini, right? So we're thinking about some opposition, but Jupiter has actually gone forward. So we're gonna start to benefit from that in ways, right? We all are. And the ways that we're going to start to benefit from it is like whatever we were working on, you know, whatever's negative and whatever's positive, you know, when Jupiter was retrograde, we were working on some things. We probably were working on some expansion. We were probably working on our belief systems and where we thought that we could go based on, you know, what had happened to us and where we have been. You know, we might have even been thinking about changing direction in some kind of way, or we might have just been thinking about, you know, trying something new as Sagittarius does, you know. And likes to do and card zb actually is a sagittarius um but yeah we're thinking about our goals and we're thinking about long-term goals we're thinking about belief systems and we're thinking about changing things in terms of those goals right and our belief systems are the reasons why we've determined to change those goals right so it is about determination because the ace of wands came up and the four of wands also came up so we're thinking about fire we're thinking about action we're thinking about instinct we're thinking about our impulse right our impulse to do something bigger all right, here we go, Aries. Your card from the Badass Bitches Tarot this week is the Fool. And this is Uranus, right? This could also be, uh, you know, Aquarius or it could also be Libra. It's also surprises. And it's, you know, a lot of surprises. They're also just kind of like thinking that things are very fresh and very new. It's definitely radical change. And it's change that is going against some of the things that may have become your norm, right? Because it's a fixed planet being that it is uh, related to... Um, um, uh, Aquarius, but then Uranus is also exalted in Scorpio, so you also could be thinking of, you know, some Scorpio energy as well, you know, renewing, cleansing, uh, uh, optimism because things have been cleaned out or wiped clean, or you're just getting like, you're, you're experiencing faith and hope, right? Um, Uranus is also the higher octane of Mercury, right, which is what we all got this week, so you could be thinking in the higher mind, right? Taurus, here we go with you from the Badass Bitches Tarot deck this week. And you got the, the King of Wands. You got Cardi B herself, okay? Her and Lola, right? So this is fixed fire, you know what I mean? This is Leo energy. Uh, it could be Sag, it could also be Aries, right? So Taurus, you're dealing with uh, actions that are unchanging, or you might even be dealing with someone that's difficult to deal with because they, they, they might need to be the authority over themselves and over other people, you know what I mean? And or, or, or over others, right? Because this person is the authority over herself, but then she's also the authority over the dog that's there as well, you know? Uh, somebody might be thinking that they're just helping you out of expressing whatever uh, they might be do expressing through power. Um, but it's also action with the kings as well. It's decisions and it's somebody wants something there that they are maybe going to try to get relentlessly. Taurus. Gemini, your card from the Badass Bitches Tarot deck this week is the Four of Swords. So this is Jupiter in Libra, okay? So this could, this could be you uh, expanding on your relationships, right? You could be having someone nurture you or, or you could be finding mental security within your network of friends, right? Because, uh, you know, it is a four. So it's talking about, you know, security related to the fourth house and also foundations. But then it's also talking about the, uh, the emperor energy with this four being here. So you might 
might be determined to, to bringing peace to yourself, or you might be determined to bringing balance to yourself again. You might even be needing to detach from some relationships that may have overpowered you, right, with this Jupiter energy here in it, and it being a four. Uh, this is also something that seems like it was divinely orchestrated, you know what I mean, with this four being here. It's like that 11-11 energy in spirit is the swords because it's talking about the inspiration, right? So there's hope here and there's faith that things will actually restabilize. Cancer. Your card this week from the Badass Bitches Tarot is the Five of Wands, okay? So you could be feeling like you're in conflict of something, right? You could be in conflict with yourself or you could be in conflict or competition with others. You know, you could be trying to figure something out along with other people and you might be trying to figure it out first. You know, you might just be trying to prove yourself to people who may have not believed in you or people that may have thought that they were better than you or something like that, Cancer. Uh, at whatever. It might have been a skill, you know what I mean? So this is talking about creativity and what you actually can do. You know, these are capabilities and these are skills. Maybe your skills are being tested and maybe you are, you know, having to step up to the plate in a real way. You know what I mean, Cancer? The fives are talking about conflicts and it's talking about things that we must face to get to another uh, uh, another phase or another point, you know, this is, you know, things that you are passionate about. So I would definitely say stay in it for the right reasons and do the right things. You know what I mean? Leo, this is your card from the Badass Bitches Tarot. You got the world, so you could be experiencing some endings or some completions, or you could be ex experiencing wanting to protect or uh, or fortify an environment, right, that, that needs to be protected from some outside uh, force, right? This is also building. You might be building something differently based on what your needs are. Your needs might be changing because it is a three. It is related to the Empress. You know, it is Saturn. Saturn is uh, exalted in Leo. Uh, so this could also be related to some relationships or something like that. Um, it could even deal with communication, right? There could be some communication or some decisions that might be made that are going to bring some completions to something. You could definitely be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus or a Capricorn, definitely. Um, you know, this is Saturn and Saturn rules Aquarius and also rules Capricorn. Saturn is in Capricorn right now, which is your sixth house. Virgo, your card this week from the Badass Bitches Tarot deck is the Four of Cups. This is the moon in Cancer. So you could be feeling emotionally complacent about something. It could even be like you were in a state of trying to figure things out or to see, you know, what was actually working for you or you were desiring something better. You were wanting something better because it is a four. So it's talking about that energy of the Emperor and Mars and Aries and wanting something into the instinct. This is your emotional instinct as well. You might have had an emotional instinct to end something Thing because the fours are talking about completion, but it's saying you are ignoring the fact that something is actually being handed to you or something might actually be being given to you as a gift to help uh, add to your creativity that you already have, right? Because it's like three cups being brought that extra cup, which is the four, which is actually going to put the stamp on something. So something, someone might be putting the stamp on your creativity or there might be a seal of approval for something that was creatively driven, right? Right? Libra, this is your card for this week from the Badass Bitches Tarot. You got the Two of Pentacles. So this is saying that you're going to see progress with something, you know, because the twos are talking about one and then the other. And now we can draw a line and now we can see something here. It's not really a full formation of something, but it's definitely the next step that is going to keep you inspired to keep going. Because the twos are saying that something is being revealed here. Something is being shown to you that was hidden before, but because you put the work behind it, Capricorn, right? It's Jupiter in Capricorn, and Jupiter is going to be going to, into Capricorn in a few months. So you might even be seeing the benefits of something that you already had set in place. Uh, the twos are talking about a little bit of alchemy, seeing what works. You might even be increasing your finances a little bit, right? Because Jupiter is expansion, and Capricorn is definitely about the money or maybe about the consumption of things. This is kind of you also going through some emotional highs and lows about money. You could be going back and forth in your head about money. Okay, Scorpio, this is your card for this week from the Badass Bitches Tarot deck, and you got your card, which is the death card, okay? Look at this, Louise, hey. 
okay? So you might need to be absorbing some negativity that might be coming your way, or you might be feeling like someone might be a, a little bit scorned from something that may have been done, or you might be feeling scorned from something that may have been done, or this could even just be you standing in your power, you know what I mean? Maybe somebody tried to hurt you, or maybe something would have hurt you in the past, right? But now, it's kind of like you've transformed and you've become something different, so you're able to deal with those things that probably would have affected you in a much more heavier way. You know what I mean? It is a force, so it's talking about emotional security, and it's also talking about finding security within things that scare you. What's your fear? What are you afraid of? You know what I mean? Don't be scared, Scorpio. Just push past the fears. Sagittarius. This is your card this week from the Badass Bitches Tarot deck. You got the Ten of Wands, and this is Saturn in Sagittarius. So you might have a lot on your plate, right? You might have a heavy workload right now. You may be trying to do a lot of things at once. You know what I mean? Time is very sensitive to you and you are very sensitive to time. This kind of has to do with like your job. Your responsibilities may have had to increase or you might just be finding yourself doing more uh, work activities on your own personal time. You know what I mean? This is also talking about the growth of, uh, of, of action and money. It's almost kind of like there's a lot of activity going on and you building your finances and you building your money. Um, this is also kind of like the focus being brought to you. You know, you might be being held accountable for something or you might be responsible for something. This is a very authoritative card. There's some creative will here and some drive, right? You're really trying to push past some things that might be making you feel exhausted. Capricorn. This is your card from the Badass Bitches Tarot deck this week, the second week of September, sorry. Capricorn, you got the Queen of Swords, which is Libra, right? And your ruling planet is exalted in Libra, okay? And this card, uh, that energy is squaring you right now. But this is talking about truth. This is talking about, you know, conversation. Or you might be cutting someone with your words. Or you may have expressed some part of yourself for justification of something. You know what I mean? Maybe had you, you had to communicate something to prove something to yourself or to prove something to others. Because, you know, the Queen of Swords is kind of like a, 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 ju a judge that wants to become a justice, you know what I mean? That type of energy. So it's almost like very being very uh, spirited and very determined to find out the truth about something or to kind of like express your truth about something. You could even be offering your advice, your opinion, or just be speaking your mind. Okay, Capricorn? Okay, here we go. Aquarius, this is your card for the second week of September from the Badass Bitches Tarot deck by Card B. You got the Knight of Pentacles, and this is Virgo energy, and Mercury is in Virgo right now, and that planet is exalted in your sign. So when Mercury is actually in Virgo, it gives you a sense of putting things into perspective in a real way. You know what I mean? You could even be thinking about... Um, you know, time, right? The time that you put into something and what you get out of that. You could be thinking about, you know, just appreciations of time a little bit more because right now, Saturn and Pluto are going back and forth within that trine energy, right? Just being in the sign of Capricorn and, and Virgo. And then we also have Taurus right now. So there is a lot of building going on. There's a lot of planting seeds and there are a lot of adjustments and new things that are also happening and occurring. Don't be intimidated by these changes. Step up to the plate. You should feel secure okay i've been saying step up to the plate for like two signs already let's see what's going on with you pisces wow you got the nine of pentacles this is venus and virgo and you know venus is actually debilitated in um oh our no she's in her fall i believe because she is exalted in Pisces, but this is saying that you are just going to have to be a little bit more discriminant of your relationships, right? And this is also talking about, you know, the goals and the things that you actually actually would like to prove to yourself. You know what I mean? This is self-justification as well, right? With the Venus being there. And then it's also the appreciation for what you've been able to get done, right? In a real way. You're going, you come from one place and gone to the next. And this is talking about some things being revealed to you over this course of time and over this course course of action, right, that you've been proving to, to whoever, um, it's good. 
All right, everybody. So the card that's at the bottom of the deck for us all is the Ten of Swords. So this is talking about completion. This is also ruin. So there could be some things that are ending based on our need to shift or to adjust, you know, due to this Jupiter moving direct now. And then us having a lot of energy in Virgo, which is talking about changeability, but practicality within the changeability and the mutability. And this is a Ten of Swords and it's Sun and Gemini. So it's bringing focus to multiplicity and being able to change and maybe being able to multitask we also might be feeling a little bit crazy because of these changes and because of these adjustments because of whatever downloads you might be getting and also just kind of like the shifts that are happening because it's a lot about shifting when we're dealing with the sun and gemini energy and it's also new truths about the self due to how you might be affected right you're understanding how you comprehend things might be affected due to these these shifts so you have to shift with the shifts okay so that's what we're all thinking about as well if you would like to get a personal reading from me, email ProvidenceTarotKendrick at gmail.com. Definitely like, share, and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. If you're not watching on YouTube and you're watching on Instagram, go to YouTube, follow Providence Tarot, and subscribe, which is basically the same thing. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm NYC Kendrick. I also have a food account, which is the Tongue Pop. But if you are on YouTube now, Go to Instagram and follow Providence Tarot on IG. Um, yeah. I think I'll take a picture of these and then I'll post them on either one of those platforms. Uh, again, like I said, I'm using the Badass Bitches Tarot by Cardi B. This is the cover. And you can follow her if you would like to if you're on YouTube and not on IG. Okay? All right, guys. I'll see you later.